All right, it's not uncommon to see log lines at Raising Cane's, especially for that cane sauce, but in line and decked out in Dodger blue, well, folks are hoping to see Mookie Betts before he flies the coop. Annette Adeola live in Alhambra talking to Mookie about today and, of course, the latest Dodgers drama. Annette, good morning. Hey there, good morning to you, Michael. Hello, everybody. Yeah, so much excitement out here. Mookie Betts left us uh, some 35, 40 minutes ago, but there's still folks behind us here. You know, we've been talking to a lot of these fans, some of them coming from as far away as Redlands. Others actually spent the night out here just for that chance to see the one and only Mookie Betts. Now, the Dodgers shortstop shifting gears this morning, going from the field to the fast food kitchen here at Raising Cane's. He spent the morning greeting fans and serving up chicken fingers. He worked the counter and then did did some drive through orders, and the crowd just couldn't get enough of the Dodgers superstar. Betts is calling this his pregame shift ahead of tomorrow's season home opener. And boy, what a start to this season with the Dodgers making international headlines after their star player Shohei Otani held a press conference earlier this week addressing the gambling and theft allegations against his former interpreter. Now, here is what Betts had to say about the scandal and the team's mindset at the moment. Take a listen. Uh, the morale is, is great. I mean, you know, he kind of spoke and said his piece. That's nobody can. You know, that, that's on him. You know, after that, we have to continue to, to to play ball and be get ready for work. And so that's where my head is at. And today, uh, to, I mean, tomorrow we have a a big game, and that's that's the only, only thing we can focus on. And during today's event, Raising Cane's also held a handed over, that is, a $100,000 check as a donation to Betts 5050 Foundation. Mookie Betts says he feels very blessed to have the support of the fans and the community and to be able to draw such a crowd. Now, he's never worked in uh, the fast food industry, so this is a first for him. This was a first for him, but he did it quite well, and he stepped up to the task very well. That is the very latest reporting live this morning from Alhambra. I'm Annette Arriola for NBC4 News. Michael, we'll send it back to you. So, Annette, basically you're saying if it's day job doesn't work out he might have a future here huh uh, you know I wouldn't quit my day job if I was him but you know a little extra sauce some extra chicken fingers yes. for the family who knows I could I could pick up a side gig too right you know. <laughs> no you're doing just fine stay where you are just say it all right and appreciate it thank you